To our north, pro Hamas rioters setting the streets of Montreal ablaze over the weekend. The standard hatred for Jews, along with death to America, death to Canada, was heard during all this chaos. Look at this. Look at this. At Concordia University in Montreal, bursting down the doors, storming into the university's auditorium. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who got very violent with COVID protesters a couple years ago, had nothing but words for the pro Hamas Nazis that showed up in Montreal, saying what we saw in the streets last night was appalling. Acts of anti-Semitism, intimidation, and violence must be condemned wherever we see them. And his way of condemning it is posting on his little phone. He had more than words, though, for Jewish conservative journalist Ezra Levant. Watch this. You're inciting this crowd, and then it, it reaches the peace. Well, your presence, your presence is alone. inciting them, and that's I'm exactly Jew, what you're so trying to do. I'm a Jew. No, because you're trying to incite them. So you're refusing to leave? I'm refusing to leave. Why? Because I'm a Jew, I'm a citizen, and I'm your boss. So well, you know what? The in the interest of keeping peace here and public safety, you're under arrest for breach of the peace. So take a minute. Good. Yeah. I'm being arrested because I'm standing on the sidewalk in my city. I'm a Jew who's, who lives in this neighborhood, and I'm being arrested because the police say that's the path of least resistance. Something else. Ezra joins us now, the founder of Rebel News. And, sir, it's good to have you back on the show. Um, some of the, the most vile people you can imagine are, are, are out there screaming. You go out there to meet them and give your side of it, and you end up arrested. How does that work? Rob, I'm a Canadian. The only reason my religion was referenced there is because the Hamas protesters objected to my presence because I'm Jewish. I was there as a Canadian journalist on the public sidewalk that's actually near my house. The pro-Hamas protesters had set up, a, set up a gruesome display, sort of reenacting Yahya Sinwar's final moments. They actually had sort of an actor in a gross blood-covered chair. It was a, a, a horrific display in a Jewish residential neighborhood. I went there to film it and report on it. When the Hamas thugs saw me, they said to the cops, get him out of there. Well, it's a public street. I, I have my rights. The police told me that my mere presence there was enough to cause a disturbance and was therefore illegal. Not because I'm a Canadian or a journalist, because I was Jewish and the Hamas protesters objected. And as I said in the clip there, it's the police's job to uphold the law, not take the path of least resistance. Of course, I did not, you know, resist arrest. I didn't yeah. riot. I didn't do anything violent, whereas those pro-Hamas thugs would have done so. So the police have become their concierges, yeah. their errand boys. If, if, they if, censored if, me. They, 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 said they, that, they took me to jail. They said that you're the problem. What, what would have happened if you would have said, this is my neighborhood, they're the problem? I, I doubt that the police would have acted the same. No, in fact, every Sunday for weeks, that same Hamas group has come in from out of town to targeting that Jewish community, which is nothing political. There's no consulate or embassy there. It's just Jewish families. And these, they're anti-Semitic. They're, they're pro-Hamas. They yeah. have signs calling for uh, genocide, calling for uh, the final solution, calling for an intifada. Mm -hmm. And the police are fine with that. In fact, they sort of act as their bodyguards. We are witnessing an astonishing anti-Semitic crime wave in Canada. You showed the worst of it in Montreal, full-out riot. But we've seen in my city of Toronto, arson, shots fired at a Jewish schoolgirl, lots of arson, lots of windows smashed, and just wild mobs rampaging through the streets, and police don't even lay charges. No. Uh, it, it's really, I don't recognize Canada anymore. And here's the thing, Rob. Yeah. Most of the people who are in the streets, they're not Canadian citizens. They're newcomers here in the last few years. Trudeau has brought in hundreds of thousands of migrants. He's one of the few leaders in the world who is actually bringing in people from Gaza. Not even other Arab countries in the region are crazy enough to do that. Trudeau is bringing in Gazans by the thousand, and we're not vetting any of these people yeah. for cultural fit. And, and I think he has brought an anti-Semitic crime wave to Canada and the cops are sort of saying, well, what do we do? We're woke. Trudeau has sent the message. I don't know if you know this, but Trudeau has agreed with the arrest warrant for Netanyahu. Yeah. Trudeau has put on yep. sanctions against him. Israel. Mm -hmm. Hamas actually published a thank you letter in English to Trudeau. It's, Canada is unrecognizable.
Unrecognizable. And bringing in people from Gaza, you know, whether it's their fault or not, they are indoctrinated. The bulk of the people that live in Gaza think that all the Jews should be killed and that Israel must be destroyed. And you're importing that into your country. That's, that's the leadership in Canada right now. Ezra, thank you for fighting you know, the good fight. I, I, one final I, thought. Go I ahead. sure will. Yeah. Thanks. I was just going to say, yeah. look at Canada as a cautionary tale. If you yeah. keep your borders open to people who are not don't have your values, and if you give up your freedom of speech, you will become Canada in five years. Look at the UK, yep. that's even worse down the road. It is. So hold on to your freedoms and hold on to your border, or you'll become like us. Ezra, thank you so much, we appreciate it. Thanks, Rob. You know, everybody's reporting the same stories, the same spin, you turn the channel, it's always the same. But not us, we're different. We report the real news, no spin, just the facts. Turn to us and you won't turn back. Tune in to Rob Schmidt tonight on Newsmax.